Hello everyone, it's Marie here from Peppley Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I'm going to be showing you a fun project uh, using the Celebration Hello Cupcake stamp set which you can get for free with every $90 purchase and also I'm going to feature a project with the Call Me Cupcake Framelits dies which coordinate with this stamp set. This will be available for customers on the 1st of March. However, if you want to get your hands on this early, you can pre-order it when you join as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So, if you want to get this kind of goodies before everybody else, I think you should join as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You will love the perks of being one, you can get your 20% discount as well as 20% commission on all of your sales. So if this is something you like to do and share your love of crafting with your family, friends and the world, it is up to you. So I'm going to be showing you now a card that I have in mind. I have not pre-done this card. Now usually when I craft, if you're new to my channel, I don't really um, have any projects to show you beforehand so you can you know see what I'm going to do it's just an, any, an evolution in crafting that's what I call it so um, yeah come along for the ride and I'd love for you to watch me craft so today we're going to be using thick whisper white card base I tend to use whisper white a lot and I'm going to fold and burnish that score line that I've pre-done. This is an A6 card base. You can use whatever card base you like based on whatever country you're from or, you know, whatever you wish. It's, it's up to you. I like A6 because that's what's common here in Australia. And it's just easy to cut and everything for me. I've got a piece of just plain Whisper White cardstock which goes over the top. And, um, and I'll just cut a little border around it. So it's just a tiny border around that. I've got a scrap piece of Pineapple Punch and Highland Heather, really tiny. And I've got some Silver Foil cardstock. And I've got another piece of Whisper White um, cardstock, which is just scraps. So I've used it for another project. I don't throw these away. I tend to reuse them until they're all gone. So, yeah. So we'll get started on this project. To begin with, I'm going to start with stamping. I'm going to use Pineapple Punch. And I'm going to stamp the cupcake wrapper down the bottom. And, and I don't want to have that shadow in, in the stamped image. I just want it to have just the cupcakes. I'm just going to ink that up. And then I'm going to take away the um, painter's tape there. Just wipe off that part there so I don't stamp on it. And then I'm going to stamp right here in Pineapple Punch. Okay, and, and can you see now it's just the cupcake wrapper without the shadow so I like that so I'm just going to clean that up before I put it down then I'm going to use Highland Heather stamp pad and I'm going to stamp the cupcake frosting on that and I'll just stamp that on like this Okay, so I think that looks lovely and then um, what I'm going to do is bring up the big shot and we're going to cut all of these out so I'm just going to take out the coordinating dies for that part so I'll just square this on and then I'm going to um, use some painters tape to secure the die so when I put it through it will cut nicely so put that on there then I'm going to put this on and I will do some trimming you'll see um, once I finish cutting that So I'll square that on. OK. 
Okay. And then I'm also going to use these tiny little hearts. They're really, really tiny. And I'm going to use my pineapple punchy scrap. See, I don't throw even away these scraps because it comes in handy with these kind of little dies. So I'll just pop that on here. Secure that with a bit of tape. And I'm also going to cut a, the cupcake stand or the cake stand. I'm going to secure it on here too. Okay, so I'll get up my Big Shot. I'm going to use my Big Shot platform with the thin die adapter. And I'm going to put down a cutting plate. And I'm going to bring up all the pieces and I'll try and cut them out all at the same time. So we're not mucking around. Okay, so that's all on my platform there. So make sure they're all within the platform. And then I'm going to crank this through. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll leave that on actually. I forgot I'm going to cut out some more things. So I'm just going to take out all of these bits and pieces and that cut out beautiful. You'll see me trim that off in a second. And these cut out the cutest little hearts. So I'm going to be using these tiny little hearts. Oh, and they fall off easily, which is nice. And then I'm going to bring my little teeny tiny piece of Highland Heather and I hope I haven't misplaced it on here. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. Very easy to hide because it's so tiny. So I'm just going to pop that on here. I'll make sure I secure it so it doesn't fly off everywhere. So I'm just cutting out three little Highland Heather hearts. They're like little heart sprinkles. And well, make sure it's nice and straight cut that through and that's done for now I will be bringing back the big shot um, soon but we'll do that okay so I've cut out all my little bits and pieces and I'll just get rid of the tape I'm just going to bring my craft pick so oh, that that came off easily well that's good so that's my three little hearts there and then I've got my uh, pineapple punch ones. So they're done. So I better put them somewhere where I'm not going to forget where they are. And here's my cake, cupcake stand. And that's my cupcake stand. And with um, the, the wrapper, I'm going to get my scissors and I'm just going to trim off so it looks like like that oops see so just cut that off so it's nice and straight so that's done and then I'll just bring up my cupcake piece uh, the frosting So we have our cupcake there and I'm going to put it up here like so. I quite like that, looks really pretty. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to determine where I'm going to place my cupcake here. And I'm going to bring up 
like the this part here. I don't know what to call it. Is it a collage? A gloss? I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to um, pop that over here, I think. Let's see. I'm going to cut out... So I'll make sure I square this on because this is where it will end. I'm going to end up with a window. That's the idea I have. So, hang on. Let's make sure this is precise. Okay. I'll get some painter's tape. Secure that on there. Take that off. I'm going to take this through the big shot. And I'm going to cut out a little window. Okay, so now that's all done and I am done with the big shot. So that's all the cutting I'm going to do. Just take this bit off. That's what that looks like. I'm going to leave it as a window. Now I brought a piece of transparency over and I've got a little painter's tape there so I know where it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to cover that window but I'll, I'll sort that out later so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some ink blending all around that very quickly and also I want to ink blend here and hmm okay so I'm just going to put like a little mark there of where this will be with my nail <laughs> so I can see roughly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some pool party ink and my lovely makeup brush and I forgot to bring my um, craft sheet because I like to ink, bl ink blend on a craft sheet so I'm bringing that out now okay so just put the craft sheet down. And for the background there, around there, I'm going to do a very, very light um, ink blend of some pool party. Just an ever so light one. I'm not going along the edges, just in that middle part, roughly. Okay, and like that. So I just want to check something. Perfection, that's what I wanted. Just a very slight colour behind that. All right. Now, I'm just going to clean off my craft sheet. I'm going to clean off my brush on some on the microfiber cloth. Make sure I get rid of all of the ink because I'm going to do some more ink blending with this ink. Uh, I love this makeup brush. Best, best um, tip for me to you is grab them. They're so inexpensive and they make ink blending fun. And I love you can be as subtle or as, you know, dramatic as you like with it, which is great. All right, so I'm going to bring out some uh, Highland Heather. I'm going to bring my sheet back, that front panel that I cut the hole in. And I'm going to tap off the Highland Heather and just do a slight, just a light colour. Of Highland Heather and that's what I love about these brushes is you can go as hard or as light as you like so I'm just putting in a nice kind of um, just a very light brush of the Highland Heather I love that keep it nice and simple I wipe it off always do that because I don't want to mix up my colours and then I'll just wipe off the excess Highland Heather ink. 
wipe that off with my microfiber cloth that's all you need guys really simple then I'm going to bring my pineapple punch ink just tap on the ink a little bit and then just just do a light light blend just like that you don't have to go to all this trouble but I quite like the look of this I think it's really pretty okay and I really love the subtleness of that ink blend just beautiful okay so I am now done with the ink blending so it's nice and easy you can use your sponges you can use sponge daubers you can use whatever you know kind of blending ink blending um, method you like take that away and clean my makeup brush so I don't contaminate colors next time and I think I lost a heart along the way oh no oh there it is there we go they're all there okay sorry about the noise of the truck um, as I have um, said before in previous videos I actually live near a main road uh, and it's uh, an industrial area however that's changing now and all of these um, warehouses etc are being um, knocked over and built up with um, apartments so <laughs> It's interesting times around here. I liked it when it was more industrial and after hours it was less noisy. So anyway, this is now my ink blended background. What I am going to do is I'm going to get some water and just splash it. So I'll be back in a second. So I've just got some water on my fingers on, and I'm just going to splash just very minutely. And then I'm just going to dab off the water and you'll see it has like a I'm not sure if you can see that but it has a just a subtle spray of water effect so I just take that off all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the uh, stand down the bottom here oh and as a tip I'm not a fan of the bumps you know you can see the bumps that you get when you um, emboss uh, when you cut these out so what you can do is you can grab your bone folder and just press them down you can do that from the back or the front whatever you wish I'll do mine from the back since it's foil and I'll just try and press down all of those dots to make them a little less obvious. Uh, with foil it's a little hard but um, it works very well with um, with just regular cardstock. But anyway, I don't mind that now. It looks nice. Alright, so I'll just grab my glue and I'm just going to stick down the cupcake stand so I'm going to make it just go right over that part okay okay and I've squared that on so that looks good now from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to position my cupcake so I'll just make sure I square that on okay now I'm going to just stick down my wrapper with some glue keep it nice and straight there oops maybe I should have put some tape on there just keep it in place for now but I'll just do this now very quickly 
just going to tuck it underneath there just a tad. All right. And then I'm going to put the cupcake, uh, the frosting, just over the top like so. And how cool these framelits also cut out that little hole. Can you see the hole? Yeah, cute. I love the look of this. So I'm just going to stick that on there, just like so. And then I'm going to add those tiny little hearts as sprinkles. So I'll just grab my pick-me-up. Forgot to bring that. And this will come in very handy. Okay, I got this before I be, you know, Stampin' Up brought up theirs, so I can't justify buying um, any more of these. So, anywho, I'm just going to now add some glue. And I'm going to put it over here. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Like that. Then get some glue and just put a little dab. And you can use your, I forgot what the Stampin' Up! version one is called, but you can use that as well to pick up these um, little hearts. Yep, pop that on here, just trying to decide. Oops. Okay, I'm not really great with this, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think you get the drift of what I'm doing here. Get off, okay. Oh, that looks so cute, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh, too cute. Okay, just one more here, and I'll pop this, I think, up there. Just pop that up there like that. That's cute, okay. All right, so. What I'm going to do now that the cupcake is there and all finished, see that, isn't that cute? I'm going to add some uh, transparency or window sheet, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some um, tape runner to secure it in place. And yeah, that's what I'm doing there. I'm just using my ATG. Alright, so I'm going to add now some window sheet. Right at the back. And then I'm going to cut off the excess. Like so. So now we have a window sheet because I want it to look like glass, clear glass. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to stick this just on top so you can see the glass there. See that? Don't you just love that effect? Now I can stick this up on some dimensionals but I don't want to do that. I want to keep it flat. So I'm just going to just get my liquid glue 
and I'm just going to stick this on the back. Do that here close to the edge. And the one that's on there, I'll take that away. All right, so now I'll just square this where I want it. So now I have stuck down, oops, a bit of glue, I've stuck down that um, card there, the, the front panel, I really love the way that looks, and I'm going to also stamp Sprinkled With Love, I'm going to stamp that up there, and I'm going to use, I was going to use Sweet Wishes, but I think I'm going to go with um, stamp. Yeah, sprinkled with love because of the hearts. I love those little heart sprinkles, they're so cute. Okay, I'm going to use Highland Heather. Just make sure it's nice. All right. Sprinkled with love. All right. And I'm just going to now stamp that right up there. Oh, too cute. That is so cute. So my card is now finished. You can, of course, as well, do the inside the way you see fit. I'm going to leave mine actually... No, I will stamp with that. I'm just going to grab a um, the little heart image that we have here, that one over there. And I'm going to stamp a couple of hearts on the inside. Why not? So, actually, I can stamp a couple of hearts, uh, a heart here in, in Pineapple Punch. Why don't I do that? But I'm not going to stamp the, the stem part of it just the heart. So I can do that here. Oh, that's cute. And then I'll do that one here too. So it looks like that. Too cute. Then I'm going to stamp the inside, just down the bottom here. And then in here. And then I'm going to use my Highland Heather and stamp the heart with that just very just with the, the okay so I go Yep, there we go. Sorry, I was a bit silent there. I had to think. And there we go. So stamp the two hearts there in Pineapple Punch and Highland Heather. And that's my card for today. I hope you like it. Um, I think this is a really fun set. You can use it for birthdays, Valentine's Day, whatever you wish. And these gorgeous um, framelits. Ah, now that's everything's going to come apart with this. <laughs> it's all stuck together. Anyway. Um, I, I really love these framelits. I think they're a fantastic addition. Um, the little heart sprinkles are just too cute and it's really tiny. It's a very tiny um, framelit. But anyway, I love the way this turned out. So this is just to show you the glass effect there. So yeah, if you have any questions, just don't hesitate to let me know. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell so you can get all the notifications of whenever I post. And if you're new to my channel, I do aim to post at least once to twice a week, depending on what's going on at home. I am um, a mum, I have two children, and sometimes I have the best of intentions to do two or three videos in the week, and then stuff happens at home, so it can be a bit hard. But I just wanted to let you know that 
without fail, I always post once a week, at least a full tutorial. So yeah, for every $90 you may purchase, uh, you may get this for free during celebration and this will be coming your way, these matching framelits, the Call Me uh, Cupcake framelits will come your way the 1st of March unless you join my team and uh, become a demonstrator. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you like this tutorial and um, yeah, feel free to leave a comment or contact me through my online store at pebblyrose.stampinup.net. Use the contact me section if you have any questions you'd like to ask. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and enjoy. Bye.